what's Tom doing in there? I'm Deborah King. Hello, my lovelies. Only see a little screen. <laughs> okay. Alright. I do a drawing and I don't know where I'm gonna go to, so um I'm hoping I'll be able to see the right up. Um see all these things coming in, there we go. See the comments. There we go. Make it small so I can see everybody. Oh, there we go. Hello, everybody. <laughs> right. I drew pictures in portraits, and they're all in colour pastel. I'm going to start by just going on the paperwork and seeing who are going to come in first for everybody. Nice to meet you, everybody. Right. Oh, all going everywhere. <laughs> I was going to hope to get two cameras, but... I can't seem to get the cameras working. I'll be ready for the next one. Can you? Thank you. High five. Thank you, Keith. Got my helper. <laughs> right. Okay. Right. I know that I have. With me, I've got this, somebody that's drawing close to me now. I know that this person that I have got with me is a, a lady, I feel that she's a mum. I also know that she's with a little bit, um, slightly nervous energy here, but I know that she's um, got a very strong love for somebody here. I do know that this lady is very creative with her hand, because I know that I'm itching, I'm itching to get things started, get things going, get things organised. Um, and she, she's like an organiser. I do feel that she's. Oh, it's going to get. So I can see all the wires coming in. <laughs> Here we go. Right. Um. I know that this lady would would have been a real family lady, a very hardworking lady. I do know that she's. Um. Okay. She's got her hands. She's itching. She's itching to get going. Okay. You're making me get going. Right. Okay. And that's a bit. My hands are a bit shaky at the moment. So I feel there would be a shakiness to her hands when she got older. I don't, I don't feel this is when she was younger. I know this is when she's older. I do feel also there's a problem with my left leg. My knee is a little bit tender, a little bit sore in the kneecap. So I know there's a knee problem here. So there'd be a, a, a mobility problem also with this lady. So um, I, I do feel that this lady is. She was looking to the side as I'm drawing her, so I'll show the picture at the end um, when I've got a bit more detail on her at the moment. I do feel that she's also got a back problem, unless that's somebody here also that's got a back problem, because I know this this back problem is also for somebody here that she's making me feel that it's not just her. I know that she has grandchildren. I know that there's children here. I'm getting the name of Abby or Abigail coming into my head. So that's quite an unusual name, which is a lovely name. And she's really happy and really smiling, really enjoying watching the children, watching the grandchildren playing. Okay. Just trying to get hold of me. I feel that she would have had a problem holding things because my hands was very trying to get a hold of the pencil to draw. But I know this would be um, cutlery, knives and forks, holding things. To, to, to bring it up to her mouth so there's a mobility with the higher part of the body also I know that this lady would have had lovely hair it would have been styled it would have been well looked after well maintained hairdressers every couple of weeks six weeks minimum before she would have the hair trimmed so she would have her hair kept in the style that it would be in um, I do feel that she has dark hair she, I, thought, I took up a grey colour so I know that she would have reached the older her older years um, I, I do feel that she loved the outdoors and I'm seeing the old chairs also you know the ones that you have to unfold and then it sort of springs up open and the arms um, to get up and down on she liked these because of getting up and down not only when she was um, in the younger years because I feel this is a younger years thing too the people that was around her would also have 
ability problems. I thought there's a grandmother that's also starting to come forward um, that she would have had a mobility problem with her shoulders. It's um, lovely to see everybody coming forward. <laughs> Hello everybody. Morning, Miss Allen. Morning, Simon. I, I do feel that there's a liking to watching his going, showing me opportunity knocks and also the conveyor belt. You know when you see the conveyor belt going through and you've got to remember what's going through and, and you've got to say at the end of what you saw. I forget what that program's called at the moment but it's what she's given me at the moment. I know the hairstyle that she's making me draw is like in the, a, a, um, it's going under, underneath here. So, and it would be curled and hot brushed as well because she's making me do the hot brushing. Um, there is a brown hair sort of colour to this lady's hair when she was younger and I do feel she would have coloured her hair right up until the later part of her 50s or 60s, more, more 60s. I feel she would have kept colouring her hair. Um, I don't think she's hair but somebody would also have done a blue rinse but this would be her mum. Um, I do feel this is a link with her mum. I don't feel this is her. I feel that she may have done but I do feel that she would love the colours. She, she would love to see somebody also have red hair. She's talking about somebody that would have red hair or, or would have dyed their hair red or it would be a ready brown. I'm trying to understand what she's telling me. Um, I know that there's brown eyes here because I'm doing the brown eyes. Um, I do love how she feels. She feels a lovely feeling, a lot of love here for this lady, for the person that this is for. Um, I've also got a name of Debbie that's also relevant. Um, I don't really feel drawn to anybody. Does anybody understand this lady so far that I've got? She's given me um, a caravan going on holiday, some camping when the kids were younger. So I know that it could be you that would have been camping and that would have gone in the camper. Well, somebody would be in the tent and some would be in the um, in the caravan. So I feel there's camping and 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 uh, I do feel there's camping here when you were younger and also going to holiday camp. So it would be like a chalet that she's given me. And she's given me the uh, <laughs> Pirates of Panzance for some reason or other. Um, okay. So I know that she would like to watch all these old films, all these old programmes are very relevant to what she would really love to do. Um, we're all watching Christmas films at Christmas because she loved Christmas and Christmas is coming and she's very keen to um, to come and watch the Christmas, the opening the presents and seeing the grandchildren opening the presents. So, um, okay. She's also given me Spain and Benidorm. I don't know if that's the, t the TV programme Benidorm or if it's somebody that she would have been to Benidorm. I know that they're sitting out on the beach and going on to the on the sand, so I know that there's and there's also uh, oh, what's that? Going on a on a on a boat and look, going around, going around on the looking around the island, going from one part to another part and getting off the boat and looking around at this place. That would have been a. She's saying she they went down a few different trips. So I was going down on this on this boat, seeing the different places on holiday. So I know that she would have visited these places, and there's a castle that's on a on on a on a hill. I'm seeing this castle. It's a bit like M Menorca, um, that I'm re feeling something like that also. So I know she would have been to a few different places. And that's something that's also talking about going on a cruise. Okay, I'm going to show you the picture so far, but I haven't finished it yet. But it's just to give an idea of who I'm drawing. Yes, it's um. I've drawn her younger there, so I know that she would have had hair going under. I'm going to continue drawing her. Um, I know that she is also talking about having, um, there's also a, a Ford car, a Ford, a Ford Cortina going back. And it would have been, it would have been a, a blue car now. Um, but she's also talking about this, having a Ford Cortina. Okay. I know that she would. Anyway, any takers yet? I haven't drawn to anybody. Okay. Sheila sort of sticks out, but 
Oh, this is the Sheila that I know. <laughs> Thank you. Um, good morning. Um, I've got the, a Sheila. This is a Sheila, the Sheila here that could be understood. Or this or was a Sheila that she's talking about. But Sheila, what was I seen on the night on the lines just now? It really sort of stuck in my head, and she was sort of um, the energy changed and sort of went uplifted there. Um, I know that she would have liked her sweet, a sweet, a sweet tooth, liked her uh, cakes and chocolates, and um, and she's making the blancmanges and the and the what is it, trifles um, by hand. So this is um, this is what she's talking about. She really loved cooking and baking, and showing you how to do cooking will be ah oh, Sheila oh lovely I was very drawn to you my darling thank you for, for understanding this um do you also understand the name of John please Sil um Sheila and there's also a Sylvia that I've just got a Sylvia come into my head and I was going to say Sheila and I said Sylvia once as well so I know there's a Sylvia and there's also an Anne okay um I know that she's talking about a ring because she's making me go to my fingers and the, and, and the finger on the ring so I know that she's talking about um, a ring. Um, I feel this is celebration that's coming up, um, an anniversary. But I, I don't feel it's a wedding. I feel it's more like a birthday. There's also a passing in December that she's talking about. Would you understand that, please, Sheila? And if you don't understand it, could you let me know what you can understand? <laughs> oh, you got a ring. Oh, lovely. That's good. I, I did. I did feel. I did feel it was somebody that would have the ring. So that's good. Um, now that's confirmed what I was feeling. I should have said. Um, Okay, would you also understand Lego bricks? I'm seeing a little boy playing with Lego um, going back. It could be now, but I know there's Lego and building. Like she's all about building. Birthday, yes, that's good. Um, okay, she's also talking about, I don't know if you're talking about or looking up going on holiday as well next year, because I'm, I'm seeing like the holiday brochures coming out and talking about going on holiday. Yes, oh, that's good. And she's also talking about um, watching the birds. I thought she would have sat by the window and she would have looked and watched the birds as well. A bit of a, bit of a bird watcher, I feel. Yes, good, the Lego too. Um, I do feel, as I'm feeling into her now, I've got like a problem with my throat coming in. I find it hard to get the words out. It's very dry, as I'm on oxygen. Would you understand the oxygen? I feel there's a, also, like, I don't know if it's a mask, but... I thought that somebody also would have had some sort of hospital treatment and having this mask over their over their mouths. I don't know if it's her. I don't really feel it's her. I feel it's this oxygen mask would be somebody else. Ah, oh, my darling. Okay, my lovely. You have oxygen. All right, my darling. Because I can feel that this mask, you've got used to it now, but it used to be quite uncomfortable at times. You, you still get on, you still get used to it, but it's, um, it, it's, it's what you have to get used to. This is how she's telling me. Listen, you got no. Um, but she's also saying, um, you just want to stand the name of Tracy around you. Oh, it's, it's her also, my darling. Okay, okay. Yes, that, that's. I, I do actually so love, love, love flowers. And I, I'm also seeing like sewing or embroidery. Would you understand embroidery? <laughs> Thank you, Clara. Um. I, I do know that there she would have loved having the um doing somebody's hair as well because I'm seeing somebody she's brushing somebody's hair and doing plaits or I'm seeing the plaiting the little one's hair little hair little one's hair also okay she's got so much she wants to say and she wants to keep going <laughs> she wants to keep talking um a lovely lovely lady um, she would be quite a, 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 not, not a horrible way of saying it, but she would talk and talk and talk. A bit of a matterbox, but she's um, she wants to say so much to you. Um, she's very excited, very pleased to see you, um, very pleased to come forward. Um, we do also understand a diabetes feeling here. I know there's like a sugar problem here, a sh sh sugar Okay, I'm also seeing the sugar squares the shapes. I don't know if they're rhubarbs, rhubarbs, but also <laughs> as I've got the rhubarb, it's also giving me um, that old rhubarb cartoon program. I don't really know where this is coming from. <laughs> oh, I suppose the diabetes was. I think she had diabetes. Okay, my lovely. I, I, I do feel that uh, when she got excited, she would find it quite hard to. Ah, uh, Coca-Cola, Thank you, my darling. 
I could, when she got excited, she'd find it hard to breathe, though, with the excitement. And, and she'd be wanting to do things, and she'd have to take her time, slow, pace herself, to do things gradually. Do you understand that, Sheila? Um, I, I know that she's um, got so much she wants to say, got so much on her mind, and I feel that this is how you are, too. There's so much here that you want to say, that you want to do, and it's trying to get everything done, everything in place. F uh, R C O C O P D, my darling. Ah, oh, she had to say good. Oh, bless her. A lovely, lovely lady. But she didn't complain. She never, never complained about anything. She, she was just, um. Okay. Would you understand that sh she would try not to complain as much because there were so much problems that she had at the end. Oh, <laughs> that's you, my darling. Uh, but it's she, she's saying that there's so much going on. It's it's. Yeah, she, she never complained. I didn't feel she had complained. But there's so much going on around you. Now, sometimes it gets a bit hard to, to think clearly sometimes, she's saying. And she's just saying, you take that breath, take that time out, come down into your spirit energy. Then then, then you can work out what you're going to do, where you're going to go, and manoeuvre things, move things out of the way. <laughs> yeah, she's, uh, she's doing it like she's swimming in the water. <laughs> she keeps saying, there's so much here. <laughs> Pushing things aside. Just for, so for now, just for now. So um, so then you can deal with what's present and most important and then go to things that are not so urgent later on. Because you want you to be able to cope with what you're able to. Not to be, not, not flustered, but it's a bit overwhelming at times. And she doesn't like that because it makes her worry, makes you worry. And then she says, then you get a bit laughed. I just can't help. I just can't cope. <laughs> but no, lovely, love. She can understand. Um, she's also talking about the snow as well. I love in the snow, and I don't know if you're going to get snow where you come from. But she's talking about deep snow, a memory or having deep snow. No, she can understand the deep snow. Um, and and um, <laughs> I know that she's talking about just playing in the snow and walking in the snow, and being really careful as as you go out and walk about. I'm wrapping up warm. Uh, there's so much memory she wants to give to you. Uh, would you understand building a snowman? It's a snowman and rolling the ball along the snow. Because I'm rolling the ball and something's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. But she's got help doing it. It's not just her doing it. There's this, yes. Um, there's a snowball and there's a snowman and there's doing this angels in the walls, in the floor with the legs and the arms going outwards. She's just said, uh, I love you ever so much, Sheila. Please, please, please look after yourself and have a lovely, lovely Christmas. I will be with you at Christmas time. I'm going to be there. And you'll know what I'm there because you'll sense me. <laughs> yes, the snowman. <laughs> oh, she's also been meaning that snowman song. And so when you hear that snowman song at Christmas, she's, she's going to be around you. She's going to make sure that that's played when you're able to and you can hear it. So when you hear that snowman song, know that she's there. Okay, and then you can talk to her on your mind-to-mind -mind connection. If you're on your own, just talk to her as you do anyway, like with normal people. Just have a good old natter. All right, my darling. Thank you for taking her. Thank you, my darling. Let's go to the next one. Oh, let's have a quick drink. Okay, cocky. Oh, I do love the lady. Oh, she was lovely, she was. Very nice lady. Thank you, Sheila, for working with me, my darling. <laughs> Absolutely. Lovely, lovely feeling to her. Okay. Right. I've got a gentleman coming in, and I know this gentleman would have worn boots because I've got boots on my feet, they're quite heavy. <laughs> um, and I know that there would have been lace up ones too. I don't know if he would have worn Doc Martin, but give me Doc Martins, but also the Doc Martins, the doctor on the telly. <laughs> so I know that this would be a TV watcher too, would like the old programmes. And I know that they're watching this, but somebody here watches the Dr. Martin, Dr. on TV. This would be somebody in the UK, possibly. Um, and I know that this lovely lady, that's also coming in, I've got this lady here too. Um, I know the man's more important, the man's sort of stepping forward a little bit more, because you've got people that are coming around him. But, and I know this gentleman is a very patient man, and, and he wants to um, really come in... Uh, and I know things would have been very hard, things would have been very tricky um, when he was here. And, and he was a bit of a thinker, and he would stand, 
and he would contemplate what he's going to do and how he's going to, to deal with these things. People would wonder why he's standing still, why he's not doing anything, because he'd be like this, like thinking, and then he'd be like doing something, then he'd be doing a little bit more thinking. But it was like stopping and starting, doing whatever he was doing. I know this gentleman, I don't think this is his dad, but I know there's very much likeness to a granddad also, so I know that this this likeness would not have fallen far from the apple tree. <laughs> okay, one of the old sayings that we used to say. Um, I know that this gentleman, I know there's a there's also somebody, I don't know if this is him yet, I'm still starting to do the drawing, but I have got that there's there's not so much hair on top, because I'm feeling there's, there's a coolness here, not so much hair on my head, but when I was younger I had I had lots of hair, I had a full head of hair, but I know that he would have liked hats, and I feel that hats also would have played a part of, part of what he used to like to be, and his character in a way, because he was such a gentle man. Um, I also know that there's all watching on the bill, because I'm also hearing that tune when you know the um it's um i don't know how the tune goes but i'm seeing the policeman's legs and the and the, and the shoes and the walking walking down the street doing the, um for the bill this 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 i don't know if the bill's still on but I, I know i used to watch it years ago but i know this is a police program and it's giving me said cars too now <laughs> so i know that he would like all these um tv programs it's giving me an indigestion problem here now so I feel this would have been, um, I feel this would be fluid activated, but also like a reflux problem here. Um, okay, I'm not sure if this is part of a, an, another ailment that's linked together with this, but um, it's also given me ale, but I know that he wouldn't have drank a lot of it. It would have been one that he would have liked, but he was socialising. It's only socialising that he's bringing me this, this ale in. And there's also a, a dark one, I don't know if it's called Stout or if it's Guinness, but I know that he's talking about um, somebody that likes that as well. That I feel there's also somebody here that likes that, this Stout. Okay. I know that he wants to be drawn a little bit younger than he would have passed, but I don't really feel that he reached old, old bones. Oh, Clara, your dad was like this. He stopped and started and, then, and, and, and sang that song oh lovely thank you Clara that's lovely uh, I do know this gentleman he is he's a, a very a very happy go lucky gentleman but I know he would it would be a bit of a warrior um would you understand that Clara um I do know that he would have got on with things he's a very hard working man uh, I know that he would have um worked long hours and he would have got home a little bit on the late side but he would have come up and say good night to you uh, he, he would have come and tuck you up sort of thing he thank goodness oh that's Sarah <laughs> Sorry. there's somebody else that can understand it too no that's fine I don't mind a couple of people because it's tuning it down to one person so no that's fine um, I'm not sure I'm drawn to yet um, oh good what's the, what's the yes to Clara <laughs> I said a couple of things I'm only kidding um, and I know that he's talking also because he's laughing he's, he's, he's a real character um, I, I know that he would have um, had rosy cheeks being outside, I do feel it would have got sunburned quite easy. Would you understand that? And Pam, I, I, I drank a lot of Guinness. Okay, the juice you take is here. That's good. <laughs> it's good people can understand the messages because it's lovely when it's understood. Right. Okay. It's given me the song "My Baby Love." My baby had blue eyes. So is there's a lady that would be blue eyed, or or a lady who's blue eyed girl? Because I know that blue eyed is very important. It could be the song would be special and maybe relevant to somebody. Is that good night and working? He did that every, every late every late every night working. He said that. And my dad had pale skin, so he would have sunburned quite easily. I feel this is what I feel because when the sun came out, it, it would it would. But I do feel they had a lot of time indoors. The rosy cheeks, so that's Pam. You're already dark skinned, so I stepped back. Okay, my darling. My, my dad sang uh, that song. Okay, so I've got two takers Sarah and Clara still at the moment. Thank you, my darling. Okay. I know this gentleman would have 
Um, the quite stringent with his hair. He would have his hair trimmed regularly. It would not have got long. It wouldn't. It wouldn't have had a long. I don't think he would have had a long hair in in the sixties and the seventies. But he might have had it for a short time during that time. There's, a, there's somebody with long hair. That's probably somebody with long hair in the in the sixties and seventies. A bit of a hippie. We don't understand a, a man, even not, if not him, that would have had long hair and been would have worn the flares, the pointed shirts. I feel like him. He would have worn the, the they would have had those pointed collar shirts in the seventies. A very smart gentleman would like to wear a shirt when he went out. He's very upright. <laughs> let me stand, let me sit up straight, <laughs> making me. Um, yeah, I, I do feel that he would like he would like to sit up straight. Um, he didn't like slouching because it made his back hurt. Would you understand the back being the back's a bit sore at the bottom? The the lower part, not not at the bottom, but it's in the middle bit. Um, where, where the waistline is, it's in that area, but in the spine, that has given me this this ache. It's gone away now. I've said it, so it's good. Um, okay. Right. Okay. I know this gentleman would have had either black hair or maybe dark brown hair. So I'm seeing dark brown hair, so I'm going to do some. I'm going to do this dark brown hair. Um, I know it would have. Okay. When he was younger, it would have gone back and over, a bit like Elvis. It would have come forward. So um, I know that he would have had his hair up. So let's do that. Because he wants to be drawn a younger, but it's giving this impression that he, he might have got older, but he never changed. My my uncle wore the hair long. Okay, I know what you mean. Thank you, there, Clara. Um, and I know there's a, a liking for um, th this this heavy rock music too. But I feel that would be um, somebody that had a motorbike as well. I've got like a motorbike being revved. That could also be a song. There's a song with a motorbike revving up. Okay, uh, but it's uh, I just can't think what it's called. But it's um. I can't remember what the song's called, but it's it, the song with the, the the bike would rev, and it's about somebody dying in an accident. The the, the the song, not not him, but the song, and it's um it's like that um, but they're playing that song in my head. So I don't know if somebody would have had an accident on a motorbike or on the road. Can either of you understand this, Clara or Sarah? I'll continue drawing. I have got the name of. It. <coughs> David and Stephen, that's coming into my head. <coughs> and I know there's a cough in here. Okay. I know that there's somebody that would have had a problem with the throat. Because it's coming from the throat, but it's a cough here. Okay. And something also to do with the... My, my, my dad had a motorbike when he was younger. Okay. So I'm, see, I'm seeing a gentleman with a motorbike. I know he didn't have an accident on it, but I know that song would be my somebody's favourite. But I, I know the song was played because of that reason, not because of an accident. But I know the murder bike was relevant, so that's good. Thank you, Clara. Not the murder bike. All right then. Thank you, my darling. Thank you, Sarah. I do feel more drawn to Clara, but keep listening, please, Sarah. Thank you, my darling. I know that there's there's also a lady that would be connected to him because she's bringing in this lady with the hairstyle that would have been brushed in here like feather cut, so it would have come down a little bit longer than just down down to the collar length really and it would have been feathered out very pretty lovely style um but this gentleman um i'm drawing now he would have his hair a little bit longer but then then he would want to go and get his hair cut he wouldn't get past this sort of length he wanted to be cut he wouldn't want it long um because he wouldn't want it down to his shoulders he would get it cut straight away because he likes to look smart um a good looking gentleman i'm feeling with this man clara um i'm just gonna a little bit more because I know that this gentleman um it's also like a um <laughs> very smart but it's got like little bits of white in his hair but it it makes it makes him look very distinguished with this white specks in his hair and it's it's a bit like that that gentleman on um pretty woman but it's got that lovely sort of multicolored hair this is what he's showing me he looks it looks really distinguished okay would you want to send a lady that's connected to him that would have had arthritis? Because I've got a feeling of a lady's hands that's given me. I know that he would have had bad hands too, or or finding it hard to hold on to things. Would you understand this, Clara? It's given me, my lovely. And I know that there's a liking here for music, and also bands. And it's given me like Shawadi Wadi, some of his old songs. 
um, pepper, pepper cat. Yes, that's what I'm feeling. It's like that that sort of color, a bit like that gentleman and that film. It's like that sort of color as he got older. It didn't stay dark. This is how it's feeling. This is how he's giving it to me. Um, but he's, he's having the dark hair now. Well, sort of. It's like, uh, I made it a bit more, <laughs> a bit more lighter in places. Um, okay. It looks. But maybe it's, it's got quite a not not a, not a long face, but it's a little bit oval at the side. It's not like long, um, but it's a little bit more wider than 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 just like pointed. It's a little bit more wider. I'm trying to get the that part of his face right. So I'm trying to get the if I can show you the picture. If I, I know that this gentleman is is such a laugh, a bit of a joker. Would you understand? He's a bit of a joker. Musical. Well, my family is musical and I played in an orchestra. Oh wow. Oh wow. Now that's what I'm feeling. I feel this is loving music, loving music. And, and do you understand somebody would play the piano or, with, or it could be one of those squeezy boxes. I'm seeing like the white keys. I don't know if it's piano though or if it's the orchestra, one of those. <laughs> he lost a lot of weight at the end. Okay. So I, I do feel that there's a lot of changes here, um, but I, I didn't I didn't feel the weight loss yet. But I know there's lots of changes here. Um, but he's it, he's also um, he wouldn't let things get on top of him if you know what I mean. He would just get on with it. He was a joker, <laughs> but that rubbish at jokes. <laughs> oh bless him. Um, he, he's got such a lovely feeling with him. I'm just gonna quickly. I'll show you what I've got from so far for him. I don't know if you'll understand this. There's somebody that's a bit like him here as well. This is... I've just got sideways. There we go. <laughs> what are you still doing on here? <laughs> but, um... I've just got to sort his hair out because it doesn't look quite right on the camera. It looks better in front of me. Um... <laughs> okay. He's... He's saying that there's got so much on your plate also. But there's also something happening, um... Do you understand some sort of disagreement that's happening within the family? Oh. Which has piano keys and side squeezes. Yep, yep, squeeze kiss. That's what I was seeing. I've seen that squeeze box. Squeeze box. That's him younger. Ah, oh, thank you, my darling. Because I, I know that he would... He, he, he likes to look smart and it, it would be kept quite short, but um, he, he's, he's, he's got so much he wants to say, but he doesn't know how to say it sometimes. It's, um, it's very hard to put things into words for him sometimes. Would you understand or remember him finding it hard to say things within the family? Oh, lots on my plate. Ah, oh, okay, okay. And disagreement. Yeah, I do feel it's a bit, it's a bit of a disagreement here. It's not like a massive big fallout, but it, it is, um, I don't know if it's sort of escalating, but I know it's trying to keep things that's sort of throwing it in, trying to stop it getting any bigger, trying to sort things out, unraveling something. That this is about even because I feel it's like unraveling here. It's giving me unraveling for some reason. Um, and I know that this gentleman um, is a real family man, and you're you're very family family orientated as well. Work is always very important for you. Um, well, he was like that. He, he could not speak properly. Ah, uh, this was his illness. Because yeah, I found it very hard to say things. I feel like I was like a bit frustrated with myself. I couldn't get what I wanted to say, and I'm like really struggling to get my words of work, my head and my mouth to work together. <laughs> this is how it's feeling. It's like very hard. Um, but you understood him. You really understood him. You you could really feel what he was going through. You you can understand what he was trying to say. Yes, very family orientated, a real family man, and you're very family orientated, as, as he's telling me. Um, and he's also talking about an anniversary that's coming up. If this is a wedding anniversary or a celebration next year, that's significant. Would you understand what he's talking about? Because I know that this party or talk of a party, a get together with the family, it hasn't been done together for a long time, and they want to draw the family together. Because this is what he's talking about. Family is very important. To get back in touch with people that you have lost touch with also. Um, he had a brain disease, Parkinson's, then dementia. I'll bless him. Because it, 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 it was like, um, 
this is what it was feeling because I didn't understand what that sensing was but I know that yeah it's just before he passed and I thought it was quite a quick passing in a way a lot of suffering before but when the time came it was quite quick oh you're 50 oh brilliant yes party time he says party time <laughs> Get party girl. <laughs> oh bless him. Um, he said also get the get the music on. They get get dancing. Um, I put somebody around you also can dance. You've got to sit down, and they can dance again. Then sit down because they can't dance continuous like they would used to do. They would they would dance a bit, then sit down. Dance a little bit, then sit down. And that's what he said. He's watching. He's watching. Um, so um, he says just have a lovely time, and I'll be with you at Christmas time. Enjoy the present. There's a special one that that you know about. <laughs> um, yeah, party, party. Yes, party. Good. Yes, definitely. And um, he, he's also saying um, about a little present that he's giving you. It'd be like a little jewelry in a box. Because he's giving me, he's, he's doing this little this little box that is, would have a, a little bow on the top of it as a memory that he would have given you as a Christmas present. He's giving me that. Me, I dance and rest now. Oh no, that's that's good. I did feel it was either you or somebody close to you, so no, that's good. Because it's um, you can't do what we used to do. He's saying, but you you do a lot for more people, and it's not always we keep reciprocated. But he, he wants you. Oh, thank you, Madonna. It makes sense. Yeah, the present. Oh no, that's lovely. That's good. <laughs> oh no, my lovely. It's something very special that he wants you to remember as well to do with the Christmas um, just, uh, just enjoy yourself so he will be there but you know he'll be there and you'll sense him there like you always do and you'll be talking to him in the kitchen or in the living room and people will wonder who she's talking to but he's talking to dad alright so thank you very much for working with me the Clara thank you my darling and that is him at the end and um, finish my lovely I will put these pictures onto the site afterwards just want to show him but just remember me as I was in the happy times. Oh, thank you, me darling. Thank you for working with me, Clara. Okay. Let's have another pink tea. I'll send that on to you, Clara. Right, I'll get that up my fingers. <laughs> Things make a pass we get all dirty. <laughs> okay, all right. Oh, I've got a lady and a gentleman here. I've got a couple, but the lady is quite a formidable lady. This, this lady, always in the kitchen. Thank you so much, Deborah. I will send a photo of my dad. Thank you, my lovely. Be awesome. Thank you. <laughs> I love the word. <laughs> um, I know that this this lady and this couple, they would have gone everywhere together. They would have been holding hands. They would have been walking down the street to the shops even, or locally. They would have always been together. Um, whenever they was apart, they really missed each other, but there wasn't very often that happened. Um, it's, I feel one would be in the hospital, and the loss, or the feeling of this person missing would be like a loss, because the, 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 the love link was there. And, but they, I feel it was also going back a little while, where there wasn't been no phones. Only, only ringing and having that phone brought to the ward in the, in, in a, on a hospital. Um, being in their phone to them, they wouldn't have been out of the mobiles back then. So this would be going a little bit back, a little bit. Talk about hospital, and the person being in the hospital. So I know, but when when they came home, it was um, a big celebration because they that, that that love was so strong, and they wanted to um, really embrace each other when when they came back to the door. So I know there's a strong love feeling with this gentleman. I'm not sure if drawn the lady or the man. I'm not sure which is going to be drawn yet. Um, I think it might be the lady that I'm drawing because I, I've got a very lady-like feeling with this drawing. But I know the man is also standing right beside her. He's very strong, very... I feel he's very protective, but I know that he would also let her have her say, do what she wants to do. He would never have pulled her back. But she knew that he had her support, totally supporting her. I, I know that she would have had her, her eyebrows would have been like that there was trimmed, they wouldn't have been bush bushy, they'd have been trimmed. I know that she's, um, there's also been tears recently, because my, my eyes are, are feeling a bit like they're a bit tearful. Not running, but tearful. I don't know if that's dry eye, or if there's been tears, but they're, they're starting to dry up now, if it is the tears, because I feel 
that there has been tears. Um, I do know that this lady would also have found hard to get words out, but I suppose there's a stomach problem with this lady also that wouldn't have been found in time or even found at all even. It feels as though there's a bit of confusion here, but it's okay. I just get on with it, sort of feeling with this. I don't feel that it was actually found in time. Um, and I feel that she would have kept a lot of her problems to herself, thinking it was just indigestion. It was something um, that was going to go away and it wasn't going to be anything wrong, anything serious wrong. Um, but she did tell the doctor in the end and it was found that she had... Oh, okay. I feel there's a cancerous condition here within the tummy. Um, I know that if somebody would have... Uh, 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 I know somebody, somebody's had a hysterectomy, but I don't know if that would have been her with this cancerous condition. But I know there would be um, a, a cancer condition within the tummy. Um, I'm trying to feel into... I don't really want to go into that really, though. She, she, she doesn't want to go into that. <laughs> okay. But she's saying about this, this uncomfortableness in the tummy. It wasn't really painful. It was just uncomfortable. Um... So it wasn't it wasn't any bad sharp pain, um, but it was because she could deal with it because <laughs> she'd had children. <laughs> oh bless her! Um, but I know that she's she's saying um, that we, we we just got on with things. We just we just got on with it. We didn't we didn't actually realise how serious these things are that we're dealing with. So she's also saying to please that if you have any problems, any slight worries, then please get them looked into. Don't do what I did. Okay, my darling. All right, my lovely. I feel that this lady would have been uh, like that. She would have cared about other people a little bit more than herself. This is what I'm feeling. She'd be very um, family orientated, but I know that she's. Um, I do feel she's a bit younger than um, this lady's younger lady. I don't feel that she's. I've got fifties to sixties, so it could even be younger than this. Cause I feel. I feel like the young lady within the family. That's also had the cancer condition, but it wouldn't be the same one. I don't know if there's a breast cancer or uh, some of the other sort of cancer scare, but it's been taken away or it's been a biopsy. Because I can, I can, I, I'm, she's given me all this information, which is just coming through. But it's, um, it's being sorted, it's being dealt with, it's being looked after, it's going through the processes. So I know that this is what she's telling me. Um, I'm drawn to that colour. I'm not sure what colour it's going to come out like, but we'll have a look. Um, <laughs> okay. I know there's um, a blonde hair sort of feeling with this lady. I know there's a light colour hair. It's a bit like golden, actually, golden blonde um, with the lady that I'm drawing. I have on her eyebrows, a bit like the colour now, but never mind. Um, <laughs> and I know that she would have had her hair flicking over, like, like a little bit of fringe. My fringe is a bit too heavy than what she would have. It would be like the little snippets of hair. It would be like little snippets, and it would be all brushed over to the side. It would, it would be... Um, and it's coming into the, it's also like a, a haircut will be coming down into a point, so this is now, or it's later, but coming to a point here, and then coming in at the back. Um, so I know this style would be what would have been a style that either she had, but I do feel this is what she's had actually. Um, but also somebody would have had in the 70s and 80s, this is going back as an old style, it's coming around again. So I know this style is um, a very smart hairstyle, quite close to the hair, not... It's, it's a lot shorter than my that same, that same sort of length of my fringe but all over um, sort of styled and cut and trimmed okay I, I, I do know that she's um, got the lovely blue eyes and they sparkle when, when she's feeling a little bit um, mischievous this is what I would say mischievous word um, the eyes would twinkle um, so they would know that there was something happening she had some sort of ideas or I feel there's a spiritual feeling with this lady too does anybody understand her so far? Um, I do feel there's a the name of Julie here. Um, there's also a Grace, but I know she's very graceful. So I know that she's very graceful. I know that she's um, a formidable lady. I don't know if there's a managerial feeling here also. Um, okay. I, I know that there's um, a bit of reluctance here about saying something. I know that this lady... Um, I do feel there's somebody here, with one of you ladies here, or gentlemen, um, that things are being held in. You're not saying what you need to say she's saying. So um, if that helps you to understand who this person is that I'm drawing. 
I, I know that she's um, she would say what was on her mind she wouldn't have held back but she wouldn't have been cruel she would have been gentle and kind but I know that she had this way with her where she would know how to say things say things sometimes would be a little bit like close to the mark but it was always, always said in that loving healing way gentle way that's me yellow um, it's not yellow yellow because it's this it's got like a lovely colour here it's not I'm trying to get the right colour but I don't know <laughs> it's a bit of a um, I like to get this colour one and then I'll show the picture because the picture might help to show you who I've got with me um, the gentleman's going to come in now because I haven't got very many people answering me um, ok pardon me there's also this um, indigestion problem also like a reflux and I'm getting the irritable bowel, irritable bowel syndrome with the gentleman that's on the airplane. She may have had a problem with the indigestion too with this condition. If I've got, if I've got the condition with the cancer slightly wrong, then please just come in anyway and not say, give me what you can understand. Because nobody's answering me yet. Um, I know there's a cancer condition here somebody would have passed with though. So I know this is a person with a cancer condition that I've got within the tummy area. And I do feel this is... Um, within the woman's area, within the ovaries, or in that sort of area within the womb. Okay. Um, there is somebody that's had a m mammogram. So I know this is where the the, 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 the breast cancer s screening has been coming in, and that's where there's been a bit of worry and concern. Um, okay. Right. She wants to bring in some... Um, <laughs> okay. She's bringing in a dog that would be very... Um, a mischievous. It, it would be a bit of a barker, but it was only barking if somebody was there. So it was. It was like a deterrent. It wasn't um, a bad thing. It was. Um, it was. It was good because you know when somebody's at the door and you know that somebody was coming in and you know that was a visitor coming or the phone was calling because this dog was very well trained and it, and it would it would talk um, with its eyes, with its face, with with its expressions. Um, I know this dog is a small dog. Um, it's giving me a cocker spaniel as well. So there's also a Yorkie, a small dog, but I don't know if that's hers or somebody else's. But I know this dog that I've got here that's given me all these different um, tricks that it done. It's, it's holding its paw open and wagging its tail and going around in circles, chas chasing its tail. Um, so I know that this dog is, is also relevant either with her or with somebody here. I know this dog is relevant. Okay. Right, let's show this picture in a second. Just gonna get this hair how it's been styled because it's coming down. It's like all over one side. We're coming down a little bit here and then coming down. Okay, I know this got I've got a bit of the blue eyes in. Just gonna get the blue eyes, yeah. Okay, she's also giving me Marvin Gaye songs um, and a bit of there's a little bit of classical, but I feel somebody here loves a bit of the classical. Um, okay. And there's somebody here that's very well studied, very well educated. Um, this, I don't know who these are. I do for this is a nan, nan and granddad, but I know that there's a link here also that was a friend also that would be doing with nursing. I know you. Ah, oh, you're overdue for your mammogram, angel. And and you, you got a barking dog. <laughs> you got a barker. <laughs> oh no, no, that's good, angel. Um. That's good that you can understand some of this. I do feel there's the problem with the tummy. If somebody here's got a problem with the tummy, and they're a bit scared of going to the doctors about it. Would you understand that, old angel? Somebody's got a problem. I, I do feel it's towards the, the the side rather than the women's area. So I know there's a, a somebody that's worried about going to the doctors. Um, okay. I'll show you a picture of what I've got so far. And then let's let me show you who I've gone so far. Um, I've drawn her with light hair, but I do feel she may have had light darker hair when she was younger. Because like me, you go a bit lighter sometimes. Um, so not really, I'm not used to do it on these. <laughs> used to do it in Zoom, but there we go. Um, she's given me the name of oh, what's that? Do? Give me the name of Richards or Richard. Um, you have an. Oh, okay, you've got the, the hernia. Ah, oh, okay, okay, because that's, that's what I'm feeling. It's for within the tummy. Um, and it gives problems to other pains in the tummy too. It's not just in that higher part. It's down lower as well. It makes tummy cramps. And this is how it's feeling with me. 
um, if you understand that. Because I've, I've not had that, but that's what, I'm, that's what she's given me. Um, she's also given me, uh, um, okay, a charm bracelet as well, which is very, very evidential. She's talking about, and somebody's got a Pandora bracelet, which these are relevant now. Oh, good, it does. That's good. Um, and she's also talking about um, flying a kite or going out and flying, going out, and um, when you was a little girl. Um, also pushing the pram, um, like a children's pram. Um, it's also the silver cross pram that would be that when somebody would have a baby, it would have been a blue silver cross pram that she's talking about. Um, she's talking about a, a, a young child. I know she's quite a newborn, but I do feel that there's a, a young child around, um, and I do feel this is um, under five. There's also a toddler, but I feel the toddler could be a friend's child. Okay, um, I, I do know she would love music, listen to the radio, singing, singing her head off when nobody's around because she's singing her head off now. Uh, she's not got a bad voice, really, better than me. Um, I, I know there's a liking also for um, not not boy George, there's a boy band, I'll talk about boy band. Ah, what's it called? Blue, um, I, I but I also have. Ah, oh, degenerative spider disorder. Wait, oh, it's a spinal disorder. Okay, okay. Yeah, when your daughter has a blue cram. Oh no, that's good. I did feel there's a little girl. That's good because I, I thought there was a little girl, but I wasn't sure if it was you with a little girl as well. Um, and I'm seeing um, roller skates, but these are the ones with boots. And they say they're not going as far back as my childhood with the metal ones, but there may be metal ones for somebody else that's around you. That somebody that's in their fifties and sixties could give me. I'm seeing both sorts. I'm seeing the booted roller skates, and I'm seeing the old metal roller skates. So, um, and somebody loves watching the dancing on the TV, Strictly, and also the one on ice. So, I thought the lady would have liked watching these dancing programs, and she would like doing the dancing, the ballroom dancing herself with her husband, because they would have gone everywhere together. Um, and I'm seeing them in like a big hall, so this would be like, um, I don't know if this is Pontins or Bartlins, but like a holiday camp setting as also, but also a working man's club. So we're so, I'm giving you so much at the same time, sorry my darling. She's like talking a lot, giving me lots of things in one go. <laughs> so she's very excited, I very, I, I really, I do feel that this lady would have had a, a picture in a silver frame as well because I'm seeing this picture or this couple in a silver frame and it would stand on the, on the mantelpiece or on the side no she was 32 okay okay um, but all my kids have roller, had roller blades and the skates and I'm a Strictly fan oh that's good and and you dance and both my parents were ballroom dancing, Latin dances. Oh wow, that's why I see all this dancing. Um, she she's this lady also. We don't find a friend that died at a young age. So I've got a friend also feeling a younger person. Could be the, could be I think it could be her um, that I've got. They they talked to mum worked at Peggy Spencer. Oh, hey, lovely. I know this lady, she has so much she wanted to do, so much she wanted to live to live to do. She had things all worked out in her head. And I do feel with this this condition that took her, I feel that it was come out of the blue in a way, like hit her like a ton of bricks sort of thing. It was like But she dealt with it after the shock of it. I had a friend who passed at a young age. Okay, no, that's what I felt. And I, I do feel this friend is quite young. I do feel even younger than 32 actually, but um, she might be giving me an age though. Um, there's a lot of heart feeling here, like a bit of a pain in the chest also with a heart condition. I don't know if you can understand a heart condition with 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 either her or the grandparents or parents. I thought it was parents. Does this sound father, a father, a fatherly feeling of a man that would have had a heart condition? Or having angina, because this pain it comes and goes, and when he relaxes his breath, the pain subsides a bit. Doesn't not quite so intense. 
and somebody's got a pump. He said, well, that's my pump, or it was an angina pump, but I'm, I'm, I'm feeling and hearing something being pumped, like, okay, definitely younger, past a broken heart. Oh, bless. Yeah, because I feel that there's like, I, I didn't feel there's anything wrong with me with that broke with the heart sensation. I thought that there was a loss, but I didn't know how to describe it, my darling. Okay. Um, I'm I'm hearing some music again. Um, she's given me um the ballad, ballad. I can't remember what it's called. But I know she would like these love songs, and the love songs would have would also contributed to her feeling sad because she couldn't get her head out of it. This is how it's feeling. But um, she's saying to play some pop music, play some of those loud, lovely music. Um, both both my parents had heart disease. And my dad passed with her lung cancer. Okay, my darling, thank you. Oh, bless him. She, she's, she's this lady that's coming. This young lady is coming close again, and I know that she's saying that she's with you, giving you that strength to move forward. If something's happening now, and Hazel's saying, I know Peggy Spencer, and I used to dance at Shirley Cox School of Dancing. Oh well. It's a small world. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, and <laughs> I don't really know why, but they're giving me um, seagulls being fed and a load of seagulls coming down to take some bread or some chips that's been thrown for them, but it's the bread that's been like, in a mass. <laughs> and I do feel it's like, all in one go. <laughs> so I, I do feel that um, things are coming um, a bit more better now for you, Angel. But she's saying... Um, it's, it's a little bit like the message before, but um, there, there's so many things that are coming forward for you, and it's a little bit overwhelming sometimes. I went to my grand, grand graduate. <laughs> that word. <laughs> and I trained at Fair, Fairfield Hall. Oh, wow. That sounds familiar, Fairfield Hall. Um, so she's talking about there's something coming forward, and sometimes you need to turn some things down because you've got too much already on your plate. Because she's saying that you need to do to the ones that feel right for you. Because the other ones that you haven't got time to do now, they will come in and do them later. Because you give them a date that's going further back. You have a lot going on too. I know there's a lot of spiritual work, but I know there's also physical family work, which is also coming on to you um, a little bit, a little bit overwhelming for you. Um, yeah, so that's why there's a lot of things going on. So. Um, but she's saying, take a step back, think about what you're going to do, and then do what you do what you feel is right for that moment, for that for that predicament, for that problem. Um, and Sarah Moore saying, hi Deb, you asked me to let you know when I was ready to take over, when you're ready. Okay. <laughs> well, this is coming to an end now anyway, Sarah. So yeah, thank you, my darling. Um, this, this lovely lady here, though, Angel, wants to give you a big hug, um, a pat on the back, and also just keep moving forward. Don't look back. All right, my darling. So um, thanks so much for working with me. Lovely working on here today. Thank you, everybody. Okay. Yes, I love doing this. Thank you for letting me do this in front of you all. Um, We, we, we do do other things on circles and other classes to draw, so whenever you're free. I will see you all again soon. Sorry? Why? Oh, right. Yeah. And the people that I've done the pictures for, if you can't find me, I'm, I'm Deb King. Um, I do do this Star of the East demonstrations and classes but I am Deb King Spirit Artist and you have I've got a Facebook of my own and I've got the headphones on my head so you better find me easy enough. This blonde head lady with the headphones. <laughs> so I will pass the pictures on to you. Just let me know and I'll be able to put but I will put them on this site if I'm allowed to. I will ask if I could put them on. It should be should think it'd be fine. Pound is lovely. <laughs> Thank you, my darling.
Thank you, Magda. And thank you, Lorraine. And thank you, Angela, for working with me. And thank you, Clara. I'll see you all again soon. Yeah, so it was Deb King, Spirit Artist for Facebook, to find the pictures also. He messaged me there if you wanted to. I want to get your pictures for you. And I'll send yours to you, Clara. Clara. Right. Hope you all have a lovely day. Okay, message me, Nic Nicola. Send me a message, my darling. Not a problem. I do it for my church. It's not a problem. I'm not expensive either. I'm only about a tenner. Whatever you feel. Tenner's fine. I will see you all soon. If anybody wants to learn to draw, just give me a message too, because I teach. Lovely Lean here. I'll see some more of these. They're good fun. Okay. Yeah, she did. <laughs> see you soon, Clara. Bye, everybody. I'm waiting for the other lady to come in. <laughs> gets past half past and five past so I'll get off. I'm not sure if somebody else is here yet. Is somebody else there yet? I might stay and watch. Be lovely meeting everybody. Thank you. 